So I'm looking at the San Francisco peaks, northern Arizona, over here. It has just rained and snowed for three days. Beautiful, and there's volcano peaks over there. This is a wide open plain. On cloudless days, you can see for 70 miles. I'm in Wapatki. I'm in an ancient ruin. Well, 1100, 1000 years ago. And I just finished a trip up to Hopi land where we were taken to a whole nother place that we've ever been to before, which has to do with Masaw. That really is the Christ Spirit, same as Quetzalcoatl or the Christ Spirit. So it was beautiful and cold. Three days of rain and snow. It started to snow. It's obviously snowing here in Flag. Two topics came up to my heart. It gets better. It gets better. As you're on their spiritual journey, there's a lot of cleaning. When you enter the dark night phases, when you enter the purging phases, the cleaning out, the rearranging, the upgrades, the literal energetic exchange program. You're exchanging your old energies that need to be dissolved and cleared and healed. <sighs> your old energies need to be dissolved, cleared and healed so you can receive the new energies. This is literally like boiling butter. But it gets better. Those intractable, those problems, those things that you feel you have and you can never get over. Often the ego mind will throw that at you. I can't fix this. I've always been this way. I can't get rid of this. This is just part of me. It gets better. As I'm driving in the car, just feeling the energy, we're between villages and uh, sites that we were stopping at. We go to Prophecy Rock. If you're interested, go to spiritualtravelers.com and click on the center of the universe, the Hopi land icon. But I'm feeling these things I used to have, for example, intestinal problems or a, a, um, I never felt comfortable with belts or just an uncomfortableness in our bodies or in our emotions. These things do change. As you embark on the spiritual path, there comes a time when you have really changed, when you feel much stronger, better, lighter, enjoy life for no apparent reason. You don't need to be stimulated by the constant false ego mind consumerism, yak-yak, push-push, stress-stress, consume-consume media or products all the time. Things do get better. It does thoroughly change. So I could feel the encouragement to share with people because I could see it in my own life. You know, 20 years ago, things are very different. As you move into freedom, as you move into real awakening, at first it's tough. You are literally unaddicting yourself like a heroin addict. It is detox. It's tough. It is not fun. It is facing your shadow. It's, you know, but it gets better. Second thing that came up was about entitlements. I don't know if you can hear them, but one of the ravens is flying by. He showed me where to go. He was sitting right here. So, good spot. Best spot here. You are not entitled to outer things. You are not entitled to feed on the world. You are not entitled to feed off government. You're not entitled to feed off taxpayers. You're not entitled to feed off of others. I think our government even calls these things entitlements. You're not entitled to any of that. We are, there's a, a distinction here of what we are meant to have, what we are entitled to just by virtue of being souls. We are not entitled to feed off of others. We are not entitled to just have things given to us. We are not entitled to outer things. There's a whole push and seduction and enslavement of populations on the planet currently 
with the promise of entitlements. I think the United States government even calls it that. Social Security, Medicare, these things. That you're entitled to it somehow. You're not entitled to these things. What you are naturally entitled to by galactic source field, by God's source, is a direct hookup, a direct link up, a direct access point inside yourself to eternal energy. The ultimate internal eternal, as you may have heard me call it before, inside us, the fountain of forever and ever, amen, youth, the fountain of youth, is inside us, very real, in our very bodies, very energetic centers, in our chakras, if you will. These are made up as well. There's outer chakras, you know, we have the sun chakra and the, the black chakra. I've really never heard people talk about that, but I was shown it very clearly uh, at one point as the void, the beginning less place. We are entitled to this. By virtue of how we are created, we are entitled to this internal fountain of energy youth. Once we start this seduction enslavement process of somehow governments giving us, doling out free cheese, people sell their souls for a few paltry items. You know, 401ks, retirement accounts, Medicare, Social Security. Social Security will collapse. Social insecurity is what I call it. As the whole paradigm shifts on the planet, these entitlements for people that are just vampirics, vampiric, vampirous, wanting to feed, you owe me, you owe me, you owe me, you owe me, and looking to elect people that promise to give them things, it's going to collapse further, further, and further, and further. It's not going to work. You cannot feed that way. You cannot feed that way. You cannot eat your seed. You cannot eat your own life force and not replenish the well. You can't cut that off. So it's not going to work as this change happens on the planet. Entitlements. We're entitled to the inner connection with the source field. That's what we have. And that is so much more satisfying. And it brings everything. It creates this. I'm looking at this incredible beauty. There's no government that could create this. Our government tries to preserve it through forest service stuff. But even that is, it doesn't work. It shuts it off. It kills it. Let nature do its natural thing.